I love this thought process. Yeah, I think that the things that um, if you're big into manifestation or visualizations or mood boards or vision boards, also being open to the fact that your life and what you want for your life will change over time based on new information and that's okay. I have had things that I've dreamed of being like, oh, I want to do X, Y, Z. And I thought about it in specific detail come true. So I do think that specific detail can help with setting a goal and moving towards that goal. But at the same time, I think it's important to not get so specific and tunnel vision in your planning that you're not looking at the whole holistic picture and recognizing how you are feeling through your journey in life and how something might be a completely wrong path for you and it's hurting you and you're not aware of it. So I think that wall is important for us to be specific about our goals and how to get there and tracking how much we're making or tracking how like where we want to be financially or spiritually or emotionally or in our health like i think that attention to detail and specificity is important in those things but i also think it's important to be adaptable and flexible when it comes to the overall vision of your life and so what I was talking about in this video is how I realized that me being a TV writer was not actually my biggest dream. Uh, I'm currently living my dream life and everything that I've wanted is coming true, but it's in a different way than I could have ever predicted. So if you're trying to design your image of your life and where you want to be in a few years, I think it's important to think about what makes you happy on a daily basis. And if you don't know, try as much as possible so that you can understand those things that could make you really happy and then keep trying and failing. And the key to success is tripling your rate of failure. For example, I started a startup last year called Kingdom of Inc where I wanted to help other freelancers. Uh, and I realized I was not suited for that role. Our business model was super flawed and we ended up closing that startup. But it was actually amazing because I took the lessons that I learned from that and kind of folded parts of that business into my own business and my other business <laughs> that is freelance writing. And I was able to kind of take those lessons and those resources and use them in a different way. I failed a bunch. I actually wrote a blog post about it on my website, but the thing is those failures have helped me grow and also understand more of what I want in my life. So it's important that you're being bold. You're taking big risks that are measured and thoughtful and also cutting your losses when uh, something is not working <laughs> and understanding that it is totally okay to shift direction in your life. As long as you're being mindful, thoughtful and learning from the process, what you want to avoid is just randomly changing direction because you don't put in enough effort and something doesn't work out so you give up. So you wanna be able to like commit to something, put into effort, try it, and then if the information that you then have when you're changing course is like, oh, I actually don't like that, or that doesn't align with my, my purpose, then you need to shift direction and listen to yourself. So it's all about self-awareness and checking in with yourself, which is why I love journaling every morning, and that kind of helps me make really tough decisions. Go after your dreams, but know it's okay to change course if you're feeling in your gut and in your body that you need to change course.